after you have done all of the hard work on your game, you might want to publish it somewhere. And one of the best ways to do so is to publish it to your website or to the page itch.io. Why is it the best way? Because people won't need to download the game. To be honest, is there really anyone who likes downloading games? I think that not. I have my project on which I have been working on one of my game gems. We can go to File, Build Settings, then we can select WebGL. If it is not showing you to switch the platform, you will need to install the WebGL build package. So we can either click the button or go to the Unity Hub, select the version on which you want to install the WebGL package, click this settings icon, add modules, and scroll down, you can see that here is the WebGL build support, so you can just stick it and click install. But because I already have it, I don't need to do that. We can just switch platform to the WebGL. This might take some time. We pretty much don't need to do anything here, but we'll go to the player settings because I have been having some problems with the compression format. So I would suggest you to set it to disabled the game will build quicker and you will hopefully not run into any trouble as me. You can obviously set the product name, version, icon and all of that stuff. And then we can hit build. Cool, now we have the game in some folder. You want to right click the folder and compress it to zip. And that's pretty much all that we need to do for the building part. Now we can go to our browser. If you want to publish it to itch.io, then just open itch.io, you need to sign in, then we'll go to dashboard, and here's all your projects. So we want to create a new one, give it some title, upload some cover images, screenshots, all of that stuff. The games can also be paid, so that's quite nice that people can play it in the browser and can also pay for it. And here we'll upload the files, so select the zip file that we have created. Cool, now we have the file uploaded. You also want to select the kind of project, which right now is for HTML, which is for the web game, but you can also upload other files that people can download. For our WebGL file, we can just select that this file will be played in browser, and you can upload other files if you want. There are also some additional options. You can set the screen width, height, and some other stuff, but we can leave it as it is and just save and review page. Now in the dashboard, you can just select the game and you can see that we are able to run the game, which will just load it. And I've also added some other files for Windows, Mac and Linux so that people can also download it if they want. Yep, we are able to play the game in the browser without needing to download it. And now we'll also add this game to our own website I'm using webnode for that. So back in the itch.io, we'll just hit edit game. We'll go to distribute and amped game. Here you can also adjust some of the settings. You only need this part of the code. So just copy it, go to your website editor and you need to add something that should be called amped or HTML, which is here for me. So I will just put the code here, hit okay. Here in this editor, it is not showing anything, but when I publish it, it should work correctly. Yep, so here's my website. And down here, you can also see the game. So I'm able to run around, shoot, and do everything that is supposed to be happening in this game. Quite nice. So like this, using itch.io, we are able to publish the game also to our website. And next time, when there will be some game jam, you will know how to publish the game to itch.io. I hope that this video was useful, if you have any questions drop them down to the comments, don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in next videos, bye! Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you are looking for a Unity, C Sharp or Bolt tutor, then I am here for you, so feel free to send me a message to my gmail and take a look at my website for more info. I can help you with your personal projects or teach you anything about game development you would want to know. You are welcome.